Hi guys, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures for part two of the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2023. And first up we've got the fabulous Adrias. As you can see in big letters, winner of the best small camper van is the new Adria. And this one retails at 77,320. This is for the one that's on show here. It's a rock and roll bed again. And the layout's similar to something like, say, a Marco Polo with the kitchen on the side. Got a little drawer. You've got your fridge at the side instead of opening into the bed area, so at least you can make a cup of tea in the morning. Big pop top, but uh, has it got a bed? Oh, yeah, it has got a bed. It has got a bed up here. Yep, nice big bed. Have a look around the back. <laughs> you can get out on both sides, which is a, a bonus. It'd be nice, like, to have something that lifts out this way, maybe. I don't know. That might just be me. It's a very small van. It's not that big, so it's not like it's taking up lots of space. We've got an external shower point here, because obviously you don't get a shower or anything. It's your water fill, shower, a bit of storage, rock and roll bed that would move backwards when you want to be in sleeping mode, electrics and storage, LPG, I'm assuming that's a six kilogram, which they no longer do. Oh no, it holds a 2.7 kilogram bottle. That's teeny tiny. Little socket there, storage pockets. Yeah, so if you push this back, obviously you've got storage in here and here as well you would get more space inside. So it's a sort of a weekend van, I think. Now then, the Adria Supersonic. Sorry about the strobing lights. I really want to have a look at this one. It's a beautiful tag axle. Lovely. So this is the Supersonic 890 LC, retailing as seen today at 175,870. Go and have a look. So this one is on a Mercedes. It's silver, and beautiful. It's got the lovely awning at the top. Right, I'm in the Supersonic. It's very popular, so I'm going to be super quick. We've got a, a queen bed, lovely storage over the top, wardrobes either side. Um, we've got, oh, well, that's raised up actually. Obviously, it drops down as well. You can have it lower. Uh, I presume that affects the garage. I'm not quite sure. There is a drawer in there. We have got um, shelves in the corner here. I think that closes to separate off the bedroom. And then we have a ensuite, beautiful sink, toilet on a platform, which is unfortunate for some people, don't like that. Um, I can never work out how to open these. Oh, it's a catch. It's got lovely bars in, I don't know what that's for, it's just to hold it in maybe. Skylight above, lovely big oval mirror, very nice. Hello, sorry Andrew. Steely, this is your, oh this is nice, nice push button storage. Again, another full size mirror with oval. Wow. The, um, it's got a rail for hanging coats and towels. You've got a fabulous shower all the way down, duck boards, and even a little seat to sit on. Should you want to wash your feet or something? That's lovely. And you've got Aldi tower shower. So if you get the Aldi flow system, you get lots of cold, uh, cold, lots of hot water. There's a lock on that so it doesn't wiggle about when you're driving. We've got air conditioning. We've got lovely hooks. We've got a couple of little tiny drawers down here by lots of things. Very handy, nice and deep. And the bed goes up and down here. You've got light controls, television area. Let's have a quick look in the kitchen. We have got three burner hob. Don't know what make that one is. We've got pull out storage, very nice coffee area there, lots of drawers, we've got nice deep cupboards, 
push button cupboards. Oh gosh, nice big wardrobe there. Nice big hanging space. Easy to do though, isn't it? Very deep cupboard there as well. And then we've got the Dometic fridge freezer and grill there. Lovely Corian sink. It's like proper Corian as well, lovely removable. We've got a nice like L-shaped seating area. Again, we've got the drop-down bed. Yeah, it's lovely. Got a nice control panel. A nice big bench seat. Uh, somewhere to put your TV. Control your lights. Uh, control here for your bed, up and down. Uh, true heating. Nice. Yeah, lots of lo lovely big windows, which have the blinds on them, I think. Yeah. I've obviously got... Oh, there we go. Pleated blinds, lovely. Keep the neighbours out. <laughs> nice big windows, though. Yeah, they are nice windows. Yeah. It's, it's nice not to have curtains. It's a bit strange to begin with. But yes, it's, quite it's nice. a big window, that is, actually, is. for an A-class. Yeah. Because it's a drop-down, up-and-down bed, I assume, this will change the height so if you are carrying bikes obviously you have to remember your bikes are in the garage and you can't drop the bed down I assume. Let me move up and down but it's a big garage, lots of lashing points, lights, sockets. You can raise the bed up and down from in here. There's a 12 volt socket and an ordinary 240 volt. Very nice, very very nice. Let's have a look at the back. Adria Supersonic. And the garage is accessible from both sides. The Adria on the man base. So this one is man twin max 680 SGX and it's 113,140 pounds on the road. Right, as I say, this is on a man. I don't think I've ever considered buying a van based on what it's actually on, chassis-wise, but hey. Quite small cupboards. It is a camper van. I've got to get my head back out of the supersonic tag that I've just been in. <laughs> but we've got a little, tiny little wee spotlights, a removable table. No pop top in this one. A nice little two burner gas. And pop-up sink. There is a microwave oven in here. Little cupboard, what kind of fridge have we got? Slimline, it's very narrow. Not the fridge, the actual van. I'm struggling to stand and open the fridge whilst I know I'm not a small person, but ooh, there's your bin in the door. Again, the black seems a little bit, oh gosh, it is quite tight. I'm not quite sure what this is meant to hold. What would you put in there that doesn't fall out all over you? We've got a toilet with timbre door again. Little sink. Oh, it does actually turn around, so that's quite clever because that means you can get your hands into. So that's quite handy. This is a, again, a push to one side shower, but it does have something to hold the shower head for a change, so that's good. It only has one drainage hole, so you do need to be level. Uh, and obviously, this would be where you bet. Oh, oh, okay. It's a drop-down bed. Sorry, <laughs> I'm being dim here. There's a drop-down bed. That's handy. Um, yeah. So all this is storage. There's lots of storage, but then your bed is out the way during the day. Wouldn't it be more useful to be a lounge area? It'd be better if there was a sofa at least on one side. I think. If I lower it down. Ah, oh, that's very clever. That opens out. A little bit pops out the side and then these top bits flap over, obviously. I suppose if you wanted to store big bikes or something, motorbike even, then you would have lots of storage under there. So that comes down and they infill. <laughs> that sit down yeah. and then you've got cupboards above the top of storage yeah. it's big yeah. so this is the Seatora lightweight and it is a 143 LE on a Mercedes with um, 
twin beds at the back, shower, the usual thing, and this one retails at, oh, with all the equipment displayed, 124,000. That's quite a spacious lounge area, actually. There's lots of cupboards around the front. Nice table. Oh, it looks like there's storage in the floor as well. Oh, and that's quite spacious inside. Got a nice big drawer. We've got three burner hob. Sink. Is there a catch that I'm missing? Or is it a pull? Oh no, it's a lift. Oh, it's a big cupboard. Got your coffee cupboard there. What have we got here? Oh, oh a designer TV cabinet apparently. There we go. So you can have your TV hidden away in the cupboard. We've got a big cupboard door, a big shower door here which does sort of close off into an ensuite. So we've got shower cubicle, toilet, sink, two drainer holes, as you would expect. Nice big mirrored cabinet. And this has the twin beds, which, oh, you can actually sit up in bed to use. Don't quite know what's going on here. Oh, right, okay. So if you want to pull it out and infill, then these steps slide out. So that's quite smart cupboards over the top but you wouldn't bang your head if it was like that so that's pretty good underneath here we've got plenty of storage plenty of storage we've got a little oven underneath there let's just get that on camera that's the sea tora lightweight very nice not too big LE. It's got a big underfloor storage space there, which is very handy. Double height floor, toilet cassette, water. I'm assuming this is the gas locker. Yep, it's got the crash system on it. And a lovely big garage, which you can get a scooter in. Plus, this is the Sea Tora Superior um, 145. It's a big queue for this one. Oh. oh yes, so we've got a drop down bed in this one. What is the other thing? I never looked to see how planet sat up the ground. Telly's on the side. Dometic cupboards here. We've got a lovely little sink area with gas hob. A little cooker. And we've got catches somewhere. Nice big cupboards and somewhere to put your coffee machine. Skylight over the top. We've got shower cubicle with hangy up shower. Twin beds, very similar to the other one, I would say. Um, nice big shower area, a uh, toilet area makes an ensuite with big sink, mirrored cabinets with fancy lights, and obviously the usual storage all the way around the bed with some cupboards and shelves. Very nice. Have a look at the liner for two. This is on an Aveco Daily 53L. Let's have a look at that. It's big steps, Watch aren't they? Step, they are big. <laughs> Watch that step. is lovely lovely big kitchen oh fabulous lounge wow tv behind yeah this has been out for a while but it is still stunning and then we've got shower in the skylight for all intents and purposes we've got fabulous wardrobe space we have got the door that makes it into an ensuite with mirrors, mirrored cupboards, beautiful sink, toilet, towel rail, very nice. You can tell where the money's going. This looks like a working area, so gosh that's an enormous drawer. Another little television. We've got the drop down bed above the cab, sorry about the strobing lights. Huge A-class dashboard. I don't know what <clears throat> there is a step down into the area. Um, it's on an Aveco, that'll be why. Um, the beds are electrically lowerable lengthways, single beds apparently. Well, I was going to show you inside the Frankia Platin Plus, but 
have to be accompanied to look at them, which is a bit much. So I come and had a look at the Yukon, which is their new, for this year, camper van. Hopefully you don't need to be assisted to walk inside this one. This is Peak 7.0 4x4 Adventure, retailing at 131350 So we'll have a quick look at that one in a second. Right, let's have a look. So we're on a Mercedes, it's left-hand drive. We've got pop top. There isn't a step in the floor, which is brilliant. We have a pop top, as you would expect. Up there, if you can see. There is a skylight and some windows. We've got the usual. I won't bother showing you any more cookers or sinks because they're all very similar. It's quite tight. Nicely lit cupboard. Sort of mo mobile home, m mobile home, motorhome style bedding for a change for a camper van, which is quite a pleasant change. Big storage area under the under the bed, and access to the plumbing. Don't know what's in there. Let's have a look. Oh, more access to underfloor storage, and we've got some lovely cupboards across the top, which some of them don't have. Some interesting lights over there as well. Yep, we have got shower, double drainer in the floor, so at least if you're not level, the water drains away. Big mirror, and it's a separate shower for a change. And we have a, I don't know how you do it, but there is a pull-out sink here. There must be a special catch or something. There we go, it's just stuck. Sink. And there is actually a washing line back there as well, which is very handy. So it's quite expensive for what it is, I think. 131,000. It's got a Dometic awning on it. Let's have a look in the back if it's open. I know it's a Mercedes, it's a big garage. Lift up bed area. Gas cabinet to doing those. Oh, pulling the van apart. It's on a magnet. It is 4x4, so it's got the BFG tyres, but it's a lot of money for a van that you could get converted cheaper elsewhere. It's nice raised up 4x4, four four, but even so. Right, this is the living van from Rapido, or Dreamer Rapido. And it's got a very different layout. So, price is 79,310. It has gotten really busy now, and I can't get in there, but there is a rear lounge on this one, and a drop-down bed. There is a fabulous lounge area and a drop down bed above that lady's head. So that, actually that looks much more usable as a camper van. I do like this lounge area, that's a really good idea. And you've got a little bathroom in there and TV. It's like a, a very small motorhome actually, rather than a camper van, so I like that. I am back at the Bailey stand, which apparently has some new vehicles. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hunt them down for you and see what they are. This camper van over here, the Endeavour, one with the lovely decals on the side, is all electric concept vehicle. Unfortunately, it only does 100 miles at the moment. But it has a rear lounge, uh, something like, Brown Bird did something very similar to this as a conversion and uh, with a sort of working area, TV area, which then converts into a bed. It's not on sale at the moment, it's just a concept. But as you can see, you've got your lounge area. It's drawing a lot of attention because it's electric. But on this side, there is the one that is for sale. So this is the, based on a transit, Ford Transit, this is going to be their new flagship camper. And it is called the Endeavour.
And as you can see, the chap is very kindly demonstrating that the lounge converts into beds. So as I say, it's a new vehicle, it's marketing on the road at 74,999, so 75 for all intents and purposes, it's three and a half kilograms, with a payload of 445. Right, so yeah, this is the new Bailey. You've got a lovely big sofa and sides over here, which you've just demonstrated, converts into a bed. Got some big cupboard space there. We have got a shower cubicle that when you're using the kitchen is inwards but when you want to go in the shower comes outwards and then you've got a toilet sink and shower and then we've got a, a cooker sink at the so the kitchen's at the back which makes a change to be honest you've got a slimline sink fridge sorry can't speak now I've been here so long cutlery drawer LPG at the bottom little oven if you need it nice big tall cupboards for cereal packets as it says and then you've got the pop top which has got double in it presumably with a ladder and then this this couch pulls out and makes a single bed so that's two singles at the bottom and then your table is removable, obviously. Swivel seats on a Ford, and they're saying they're available from next April. So that's quite good. There is a skylight up above there with uh, reading lights and USBs just there. So yeah, that's quite a nice van. Dog would be sitting there, I think, if it was me. Let's get a wide angle of it so you can see. It's a really nice van, that. Really nice, like that. It's something different as well. Different to all the other camper vans that are the same old, same layout. I really like that. And actually, it's not a bad entry price, 72. I know that sounds like a lot of money, but for camper van, that's pretty good. That's the B64, by the way. This one, oh, there's another end of it, but different layout by the looks of things. Yeah. So this is the B62, which presumably has two people rather than four. So yeah, the kitchen, more traditional layout kitchen at the front. No pop top on this one. And you make the bed up at the back. So it's a back lounge, no pop top. So B62 for two people, B64 for four people. But really like them. Well done, Bailey. Right, this is the Bailey Allura, which is a new, narrow, under seven foot wide, motorhome got a little garage very nice this is new for 2024 this is the 694 at uh, 40 even getting dyslexic in my tiredness 77,499 <laughs> only yes only 77,000 if only it were seven instead yes, of 77 <laughs> right let's have a look oh that's cute <laughs> two so uh, twin beds one shorter than the other with an infill to make it bigger and then we've got um, yeah it's narrow and then you've got the pull round for the yeah. uh, actually there's plenty of headroom as well there's no storage in the back here um, cupboard wise step up it's sort of halfway between a camper and a motorhome, to be honest. Storage in the steps. Nice big mirror. TV area. And manual. Oh, and automatic. It's standard as manual. Yeah. You can get automatic. Yeah, we'd need auto. Yeah, that's fine. That's no problem at all. Very nice. Sorry. So 77,499. Says it sleeps four. So these uh, sofas must make up a bed at the front. Yeah, but it's narrow, so it's sort of camper, camper van width, which is interesting. Uh, this is the 694i Allura. 
so I don't know what the difference is. Let's have a look. Same at the front. Ah, oh, this is the Queen's sort of bed. Oh gosh, that feels tight. The shower cubicle would have to be out of the way for you to get in and out of bed. There is some storage underneath. The Coachman Imperial. There's a Swift. Tag. Axle. This one is oh, only a small price of 200,000. Uh, lounge area. Big table. Mercedes cab. Drop down bed, yeah, I think. Drop down bed. Big cupboards. Glass cabinets. Let's have a look in here. Oh, what have we got here? I don't know what. Oh, that's the Aldi services. Dometic. We've got the three burner gas hob. Big sink, actually. Big sink. The drainer. Lovely tap. It's got um, Dometic. Oh microwave interesting cupboards skylight over this is a queen bed i'm assuming you can get the usual twins that make into a massive king size as well it's got wardrobes at the side then you've got the hmm, ensuite bathroom sort of stone effect big walk-in shower so vinesburg have bought out this excursion camper van on a Volkswagen T6.1 that's brand new for this year with the vertical pop top it's hard to get near them because they are packed but that's nearly oh, 92,000 that one now we also have the Tora Q Vision which also has the vertical pop top so let's see what have we got in here um, right, we've got a toilet, sink, shower over, but anything, there may be a hangy shower up there, I don't know. Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, cupboard. Hmm. I don't know what I think about this. I can't say it's floating my boat, to be honest, but there we go. Yeah, they want to charge you for it. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> then we've got the Mexican sunset. This is cool, eh? Mind you, it's orange. That's why I think it's cool. How cute is that? <laughs> Little caravan. Yes. Micro Tora Go Pods. They are super cute. <laughs> How cute. Little kitchen. Little fridge little lounge that turns into a bed not an awful lot of headroom because the pop top's only at this side but you're only going to be sleeping in it put your feet at that end no shower or toilet obviously but really cute lots of different colors to be had you can even have it in pink i think we looked at this one last year the mink isn't it cute it's just a bed basically it's a bed with some storage on the inside and at the back there is a little kitchen, I think. Kitchen area. All individual storage shelves. A full tent for car tops. Alternative to having a camper van or an addition to, because you could put a couple of kids up in the top to camp. Isabella have a new awning out for this year, so I'm gonna see if I can track that down. This is the Isabella Air. Uh, X tension it's called which is perfect for a camper van lovely little makes a great room off a camper van this perfect size but yeah like that it's got the connection so you can probably it's probably a driveway i would imagine i'm not sure but yeah like that really nice i've walked my feet off well thanks for joining me for part two of the show there'll be one more part to come and after that we'll be going back to wales so thanks for watching see you next time